Hi, my name is Valeska Joya and I'm an assistive technology specialist and autism consultant in the state of South Carolina. I also am a member of Partisan Learning through Microsoft and I want to show you today how to make a talking book with PowerPoint. These are very easy to make and it can work with very young children, elementary age uh, school children, children with significant um, intellectual disabilities and also students with limited mobility. Uh, we use this a lot with children with cerebral palsy, uh, other neuromuscular diseases and um, any kind of situation where they cannot um, maybe use a mouse or if they're a non-reader. So very easy to make. We're going to start now. I have a template for the book and if you Google um, or use Bing to um, look for templates, book templates for PowerPoint, you'll find many, many, many out there. There's really cute ones like that look exactly like books. There's ones for younger children, older children. So there are just so many out there and you can find tons of them. But I like this one. This one's very basic. You can see the back arrow and you can see the forward arrow and the layout just works perfectly for what we're going to do. I already went on Google um, search uh, for images and I found a couple of um, animals that I wanted to use for this PowerPoint because I'm going to do animals on the farm. And I found a pig and a horse and a goat and um, a cow. So we're going to make it very general and just go right into it. So the layout is important and you just want a basic layout where the tape, uh, title and content works just fine. And all you have to do is write your title okay and then you want to insert a picture and since I already have my pictures I'm just gonna look for them okay but I'm gonna do a farm I already had that downloaded from Google Images okay I'm gonna make it a little bigger and when I pull from the side, from the edge, it doesn't distort the um, picture. When I double click, it gives me the ability to put a border on it. Okay, and so that looks very nice. We want to insert a text box. And I'm going to write the author. Okay, now we want to add sound, and that's very easy. All we have to do is insert audio record audio, press the record button, Animals on the Farm by Valeska Joya. Okay, once you stop it, you'll see a little microphone. You double click on the microphone and you want to go to playback because you want, when it starts, you want it to be immediate automatic okay and then you want to put it to the background so again double click on it and send backward so when you click on it you don't see it anymore actually that didn't work let's try it again send backward okay there it goes okay so that's my first page now I'm gonna do my second page I'm going to final layout, title and content, and then I'm going to write cows. I'm going to insert picture, find my picture that I had found on Google Images. There's my cows. Open, put on my screen, make it a little larger so everybody can see it. Double click on it, put, put a border on it. Then I'm going to insert a text box go okay um there insert text box cows come in many different colors okay and then i want to insert audio, record audio, press the record button. Cows come in many different colors. Stop it. Okay. Now again I have my little microphone there. Double click on it. 
I'm going to play back automatic and then I'm going to double click on it again and send backwards so we won't be able to see it. There we go. I'm going to do one last slide. Pick it. Layout. You can pick whatever you want but this is what I like. I'm going to do chicks. Okay. Insert. Picture. I already found chicks. There we go. It's a cute little picture of the chicks. Make it bigger. And then when I double click on it, put a border. I'm going to insert a text box. Chicks are so cute. Okay. And again, insert audio, record audio, press the red button. Chicks are so cute. Okay, we have a little microphone. We're going to play back automatic. We're going to double click on it again and send back to the back. And there we go. All right, now when I play my show from the beginning, button. Animal, Animal on the, on the farm, farm by Valette Pajoya. Button. button. Cows come, come in many, many different, different colors. colors. The red button. button. Chicks, Chicks are, are so, so cute. cute. Okay, the only problem I did is that I didn't take this text out of there. Okay, but that's done now. So absolutely, it's finished. It You can do a small one, a large one. You can do it for very young students. You can do it for um, students in middle school, high school, if they're, of course, um, have an intellectual disability and it you can use them for social stories also with children on the autism spectrum so it can be used for many many things and PowerPoint is a great 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 tool so we also came up with a notebook say if you accumulated many of these books and you wanted to organize them you could use OneNote and you could have a talking books library and then like if you have um, a project that the class does you could have all your students to the right hand side and you could have all their books on there about letters numbers books about our school books about our community or anything else that you want to add it is really um, important to um, be able to give some students this option because many students cannot read and have a problem finding books that work with them. Now this you can these you can create and they're very motivating because they're about the students um, or about something that the students love. Um, they're read to the students and students with limited mobility can use switch access to actually you know forward the pages so this can work really really well. So that's it, and thank you for listening.